Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. I hope all of you are liking this particular series on Snowflake. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can query the data within the worksheets, how we can visualize the data within the worksheets. So this particular thing we are going to do within the Snowflake Snow site, the new UI that we have discussed in our last video, we are going to do everything using Snow site. And remember that snow, worksheet is nothing but a UI, right? It is nothing but a method where you can, you know, run your SQL queries, you can perform any kind of data manipulation, uh, you know, uh, any kind of data manipulation tasks, data definition tasks, and it lets you create and manage your worksheets. You can actually, you know, view the data using the worksheets. So let's move on and go to the UI. So this is the same UI that we have been working on that we have discussed right in our last video. In case you have not seen that, I highly recommend watching these whole videos in series to understand Snowflake in depth. So if you see this worksheets option over here, right? Once you click on this worksheet option and on the right hand side, uh, you know, you can see this plus option within the worksheet, right? So the moment you click on this option, you can actually go ahead and start creating these worksheets, right? So let me just click on this worksheets option and let us move ahead with creating the worksheet. So the moment I uh, clicked on it, you can actually see that I get landed into this particular web interface. So let me just zoom it a little bit. So if you can see on the right, left hand side, it has all the databases, right? And at the top, it has the role, right? You can select any role from here. So right now, account admin is selected, but right now, no warehouse is selected. So you need to select a specific warehouse over here. So let me just select the warehouse so that all my queries are actually uh, run using this particular warehouse. Now, similarly, if you look, I, I can use, you know, any particular database over here and I can just simply query any data from this particular database, right? So, for example, let me, um, let me just use the default sample data that Snowflake has. So, this is the Snowflake sample data is the database which, you know, comes along with the Snowflake by default. So, this is the orders table over here, right? So, let me just query this orders table over here. So, for this, you can simply select, you know, you can simply say select star from orders, right? You can simply select star from orders. Let me say limit 20,000 and you have to select the database as well. You can actually go ahead and select the database from here. Let me just select uh, the database that we are using Snowflake sample data. And you can also select now once you have selected the database, you have to also select the schema right now. The schema is TPCH underscore SF1. So let me just select this schema as well. So now you basically have selected the database right you have selected the schema let me again show you on the left hand side so if you see this is the database snowflake sample data and this is the schema you have selected the role you have also selected the warehouse that you're going to use right also let me just zoom it in a little bit now if you see on the right hand side there's a run button as well right so you can select whatever you want to run over here and you can simply you know click on the run option over here or you can do simply control shift as well which will also uh, control shift or command shift both will run your uh, you know query now uh, let me just limit it to 2000 and again run it now the moment i run it you can actually see uh, let me just put it to little right over here now you can see i have all these details right this is the data which is present over here now if you see you can go and you know simply click on chart option over here right now the moment you click on this chart option you can actually see that you you have different type of charts to choose from you can use bar chart you can use scatter heat grid or scorecard any of these charts you can actually select over here so let me just select any of those so the moment i do this you will actually see that you know you are able actually able to uh, you know visualize your data as well using the uh, uh, using this visualization that is offered by the new snow site 
uh, UI in Snowflake. Also, remember that it's not just the chart type, right? So if you see, right, it also tells you a little detail about your data as well, right? So for example, you know, if you want, for example, basically it will tell you about your chart right if you want to add any column to your chart or what is it on the x-axis what is basically displayed on the chart all these details about your chart is actually displayed over here similarly if you want to change your orientation any kind of grouping and if you want to do any kind of work on your chart right you can actually do it over here right if you want to add any labels to your x-axis right so then in that case let me say label x axis right so in the similar way you can actually add your label to any of your x's over here so this will actually help you in creating your charts also remember that you can also download your charts from this option now if i click on this download option you can actually see that my chart will get downloaded so I have clicked on this download option and you will actually see that a chart gets downloaded from here. The chart, get, uh, the chart got downloaded, I'll show you the chart as well. But before that, let me just click on this orientation. So in the moment I clicked on this orientation, you can actually see that I, I labeled the axis, right? So you can actually see this label also come here. So any kind of work that you want to do over this chart, you can actually do. And I will show you that why this is helpful in my upcoming videos. This is a really helpful option. Now, again, if I try to download it, I will again get, you know, one more file uh, downloaded. So let me just show you the files that got downloaded. So you can actually see over here, right? You can see that these are the files that got downloaded, not those PNG files. So let me just click on this, the first file, and you will actually see the data as well over here. So you can actually see this is the file that got downloaded. So you can also download these charts and you can use these charts in the dashboarding as well, which we are going to see in our upcoming video. So this is a really helpful feature. Also, the moment you click on this results option, right, we have seen charting part. Now, if we click on this results option, you will actually see on the right hand side. Let me just try to. Yeah. So now you can actually see that you can download this as a CSV file. Now, just let me download it as a CSV file and let me show you. So if you can see over here, so output is has been generated as a CSV file. So this is how my output looks like and I can download it as a CSV file very easily. Now, also, on the other hand, if you see, right, you will also see the query details, right? So if you see how many rows, right, how many rows, so I have limited it to 2000 rows. So you can actually see the 2K rows, right? What is the duration of the query? So, uh, you know, how much time my query took to run, right? What is the end time, right? What is the role? What is the warehouse which has been used for it, right? So all these details related to the query can actually come here. Similarly, it will also show you few basic details, right, regarding your data. So, for example, it will auto identify few details related to your data. So, for example, order key, right, it is actually checking the order key part over here. It is by default telling me the sum and the average of my order key value, right? So, likewise, it by default gives you some statistics. Similarly, you have your O underscore customer key, right? I have this customer key over here. So similarly, it is showing it is showing you some and average of your customer key. So by default, it will tell you a few statistics as well. So similarly, for example, if you see it is telling me how many, you know, order status with F are present, how many order status with O are present, how many order status with uh, order status as P are present. So this is the statistics that you get. Similarly, for the total price, right? Again, if I click on this total price, you will actually see again, it is telling you about the sum and the average of your total price. So these are the statistical details. Uh, Again, if I if I you know try to dive a little more deeper, so you can see for each and every column it has also defined, for example, for this order priority, right? How many orders are low priority, medium priority, high priority, the count of each and every, right? So these are the details that it has captured, and these are called your statistics. Also remember that this thing. Uh, if you go back to my video of Snowflake architecture, there also I have explained that Snowflake by default, when you run a query, it captures the statistical data as well. So that data is actually useful in the background over here. So this is just a correlation that I'm telling you that how 
you know that architectural thing you can actually uh, you know correlate over here so this is how basically you can go ahead query your results in the snowflake also remember that there is something called as filters which we will talk about little later on uh, now let me go back to the home page again and i'll show you a uh, little more detail so for example if i click on this folders option right uh, let me just click on this new folder so the moment i click on this folder name and i say new folder over here right i can go ahead create a new folder and you can see that empty folder has been created now i can go ahead click on this worksheet option and you know let's say um, again i try to you know query the same table let's say orders right let me say select star from orders right now uh, if i go ahead and i have uh, now this is already selected warehouse is also already selected so let me just run this so the moment i run this now this is a uh, this is nothing but a worksheet that is created right so now if i go back to the new folder right you can actually see that within this new folder i have this worksheet present right when it was updated all those details i can actually see similarly if i go back to the activity sheet activity sheet right you can actually see within this activity sheet it actually shows me select star from orders right when it was done all these details it actually shows over here right so this is how you can actually go ahead create as many worksheets you can work with worksheets you know so do let me know in the comment sections if you have any doubt on this we will proceed to the further topics in our upcoming videos so thank you so much for being till here